Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. GB. What brings you in today? Okay, you have to get a physical for work. So just a full comprehensive. Is there anything in particular that they asked you to test for? No problem. That's perfect. Yep, we can do um, eye and uh, hearing exam here. No issues with that. They're very basic tests. Nothing crazy. Um, do you have an eye doctor or... Okay, we do. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to pull up your chart here. Are you a new patient? No problem. That's totally fine. We just need a couple of things for you to just get it all set up. And I'm going to need your first and last name. Okay. Awesome. And your birth date. Mm -hmm. Oh, my sister was born the same month. Yeah. Okay. And your reason for visit. That's going to be the yeah, do that. Are there any major health concerns that I should know about? Like diabetes, arthritis, blood pressure disorder? Okay. And what medications do you take and how often? Mm hmm. Awesome. Do you have any allergies? Food allergies? Allergies to medication? Um, or environmental allergies? Okay. Do you currently smoke? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you use any other tobacco products? And do you consume alcohol? If so, about how many drinks per week? I'm going to give you a little checklist. Um, we can just fly through these. Ready? Have you been experiencing fever, chills, fatigue, night sweats, unexpected weight change, trouble sleeping, uh, vision problems, decreased hearing, runny nose, congestion, nosebleeds, ringing in your ears, Numbness, chest pain, cough, abdominal pain, nausea, headache, muscle weakness, or skin rashes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, have you had any surgeries in the past? Any at all? And if you remember the year. Okay. All right. So the last thing I need you to do before we begin is just sign this release form. We have the HIPAA communication form and the privacy agreement. I'm just going to give you this clipboard. So you can sign here. Here. And there. That we need to date. very much. All right, we are ready to get started. First thing I'm going to do is take your temperature. They should have taken it at the front desk, but I'm just going to get it again uh, for myself. It's just this little one that's going to go right on your forehead. Perfect. No fever. All right, um, we're going to start from the top, and I'm going to just do a little bit of a scalp inspection, looking for anything abnormal. Sometimes we miss things in the scalp because um, it's covered by our hair. I've got lice, 
on a couple of patients a few times. They were very glad I did. So I'll go ahead and just look down a little bit for me. And as we're going through, please let me know at any time if anything hurts or is tender or uncomfortable. And we can look into that. Um, any dryness. And put that there. Your scalp looks very healthy. I don't see anything right off the bat that is of concern. And if I touch the back of your scalp here, is that tender or is that fine? Okay, good. All right. Looking through. No lice. No. Okay. Fantastic. No problems with your scalp. And then I'm just going to go through and briefly check over your skin for any moles, unusual bruises, cuts? Do you find that you bruise easily? Okay, so I'm just going to examine your face. Kind of behind your ears, places that you might not notice or can't see very easily in a mirror if you look up. Okay, and down your shoulders. You could just lift your arm for me. Thank you. I'll put that down with the other arm. And around the back here, is this mole on your back, is that one you've had for a long time? Have you noticed any changes with it? Okay, perfect. All right, just gonna check your legs, bottoms of your feet. If you ever notice a mole on the bottom of your foot, let your doctor know. You can come back in to me. Okay, or you can refer you to a I don't notice anything. Everything's looking great. Okay, so the, for the next part, I'm just going to be measuring your eyes. Um, so what I'm going to do is hold this just in between your pupils and make sure that things are lined up. So if you would, just look at my nose. You lost it for a minute there, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna hold this in front of your eyes. Can you look up and then back to my nose? Look down and then back to my nose. Look to your left, then back to my nose. And then look to your right, and then back to my nose. Perfect, awesome. Okay, next we're going to look at your pupils. So again, look straight ahead. You can look at the wall behind me. Look at my nose again. So checking your other eye at the same time. See if the reaction is appropriate. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to be feeling uh, your lymph nodes underneath. Line. Good. I'll put your ball there, here, and any of this when I'm putting pressure. Does that hurt? I'm gonna do a sweep of your sinuses. Does this hurt? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna ask you to sniff. Now, I want you to clench your jaw. Good. Open your jaw. Close. Awesome. Fantastic. And then I'm going to lightly put my hand here. Can you swallow? Fantastic. Okay. Next, I'm going to ask you to open your mouth. I'm going to put this right here. And I want you to say, ah, uh, perfect. Okay. I'm going to 
take a little look in each ear. That's better. Good, 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 good. All right. Next, we're gonna start listening to your heart and your lungs. I'm sure you've done this before. And I'm gonna have you breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. And then this time I'm going to have you hold it. So breathe in. And breathe out. Fantastic. I'm going to go around behind you and listen to your lungs from the back. Okay. Breathe in. sounds very good, nothing abnormal. Your lungs sound good, they sound clear. Okay, I'm gonna get your blood pressure next. Watch just on this little machine here. So I'm gonna take the cuff, put this on your arm. Is this arm okay? Alright. Okay, and then I'm just going to press a button. This is going to read it for me. Perfect. Okay. Take that off. Very good. Good, good. Have you ever had problems with your blood pressure before? Too high, too low? gonna do a little bit of percussion so I'm just going to put fingers on your abdomen and back and go like this if anything hurts is tender painful please let me know okay here we go all right so we're gonna start up here good 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 no pain Good. Good. And then around the back. Perfect. Good. Good. No pain. Everything good. Okay. I don't feel any abnormalities. Alright, for the next test, I'm going to have you touch your nose and then touch my finger. So I have my finger right here. I can take my glove off. It's hard to see these dark gloves. So I'm gonna have you touch your nose, touch my finger. Ready? Touch your nose, touch my finger. Good. Touch your nose, touch my finger. Good. Now your other hand, touch your 
touch your nose, touch my finger, good. Touch your nose, touch my finger, good. All right, now I'm gonna have you do it with your eyes closed. <laughs> yes, so let's start with your first hand. Here's my finger, close your eyes. Touch your nose, touch my finger, good, good. Okay, same hand, close your eyes, here's my finger, touch your nose, touch my finger, good, perfect. Then we're going to do your other hand, go ahead, here's my finger, close your eyes, touch your nose, touch my finger, good, okay, same thing, you can take a look at where my finger is, close your eyes, touch your nose, touch my finger. Awesome. Awesome. That's a hard one, don't worry. Okay. Now we're going to keep your eyes closed. And um, I want you to tell me if you can feel when I am lightly touching you. Okay? It's going to be the little Q tip. Okay. Close your eyes. There. Good. Perfect. Okay, you can open your eyes. Right. And when I am touching your face, is there any numbness? Good. No numbness. How about any numbness in your fingers or toes? Any patches of numbness? Okay. Good. Perfect. All right, I want you to grab a hold of my fingers with your left hand and squeeze. Good. Grab my fingers with your right hand and squeeze. Good. Okay. I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders up and down. Look to the side. Look to the other side. Any pain? Good. And chin down. Any pain? Okay. All right. Fantastic. Now I'd love to see your hands. So, so if you could put them like this. I'm just going to quickly examine those. Okay. And then flip them over for me. Examining your palms. Fingernails. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now we're going to check your reflexes. One's in your arms first. Ready? Relax. Perfect. Other arm. Relax. Good. Awesome. Now your knees. Okay. Go ahead and relax that knee for me. Perfect. And your other knee. Now we have our eye exam, hearing test, and then a little color test at the end. Perfect. Easy enough. Okay. Let me set up my eye chart then. All right. So this um, eye chart is a bit far away, so we're just going to have you take this tool, okay? And when I tell you, you're going to cover each of your eyes. So you can start by covering whichever eye you'd like. Have you read these out, okay? Good. 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 That one there. Okay. Very good. Good. Uh, let's see if you can read this line. Okay. Fantastic. Do you think we can go even farther? Here. Good. Okay. One more. One more. Okay. 
And are you wearing um, contacts? Okay. No glasses. No problem. Okay. I'm going to have you cover the other eye now, and we're going to do those backwards. Okay. Go ahead and cover that other eye. Here we go. Fantastic. Okay. I'll take that back from you. Thank you very much. And then, in terms of breathing close up, I want to get this quite close to your eyes, and I want you to tell me what these letters are. Ready? Mm-hmm. You haven't had any trouble with being uh, farsighted. Okay. Good. All right. Next, we have um, our hearing test. Before that, I do just want to do some basic um, eye movements, if you wouldn't mind. So go ahead and look up. Okay. Look down. Look to the side and look to the other side. Okay, good. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is give you this pair of headphones. You're going to hear a beep in different ears. Um, it's gonna start uh, a bit louder and then get quieter and quieter and quieter. Go ahead and raise your hand on the side that you hear. The tones are gonna change, might be a little higher, a little lower. So I'm gonna put these on you. There we go. Let's go into the hearing. All right. Ready? Okay. Go ahead and raise your hand when you hear it. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to get quite close to your ears. I'm going to whisper just a small phrase and I just want you to repeat that back to me. So I need to know if you can hear me without uh, reading my lips. Okay. She went to the park on Tuesday. She went to the park on Tuesday. Very good. He never knows how many apples to buy. Very good. I'm going to do the same thing with a few numbers, okay? 63, 40, 17. 63. Very good. 
And then the last thing is just our color test, which is exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to hold up a color pencil and you tell me what color you see. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, what color is this? Red. Some people, some people say red orange and that's fine too. I have very basic colors here. So as long as you can blue, very good. Color is this green. Perfect. And finally, color is this. It's purple. Yeah. Except navy blue as well. Don't worry. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Is there any other questions that you have for me? Anything that I didn't cover or that I might have missed? I like to ask that just, you know, while you're here. Some people don't get into a doctor's office um, too often, so... Okay. We do offer flu shots here. If you haven't gotten it this year, do you remember the date of your last flu shot? Okay, yeah. Let me set that up for you. Just have to put on another glove. Yep, I got mine. I usually do it every November. And we're just going to. Is the left arm okay? Okay. Just rub that on. For that to dry. There we go. Um, and I'm just going to pop this cap off. And there we go. Get you a little band aid. I've got the real tiny ones here. So little. Okay. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Go. Was there absolutely anything else before I let you go? Okay. All right. So I can send your employer the uh, documents that they need to prove that you got this exam and that you passed. Absolutely no problem. It was so nice to meet you as well. Yes, call the office anytime if you have a problem. Now that you're in the system, it should be quite easy. Okay, have a great day. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Dr. GB. It's nice to see you. Could you confirm your name for me? Perfect. Okay. So we are doing a full comprehensive orbital exam today. It's going to be a little bit different than what you might be used to in terms of just like your routine eye exam or maybe your exam to get glasses or contacts. This is going to be more about uh, your vision. So we'll do a few vision tests that you might be familiar with. But I'm going to be pressing on your eyes, around the bone structure of your body. I'm going to do a bit of a jaw check and just uh, be checking the pressure of your eyes as well. None of this should be painful in any way. Um, if it is, please don't hesitate to tell me because that is something that I will note so we can look into that. Alright, I'm going to start off with a few questions. Are you nice and comfortable? Have you had any recent trauma to your face? Okay. Are there any possibilities for any foreign bodies being present in your eye or possibly in your skull? You'd be surprised what we see here. Do you have any history of ocular problems, vision problems, anything that you think that I could or should be aware of? Okay. 
Are you on any medications? Anything at all? Not necessarily related to high ear vision. Okay. Okay. Do you have any past uh, diagnoses that I should be aware of or any past surgeries that I should be aware of? Are you in any pain? Mm-hmm. And if you could give that a 1 out of 10. Okay. Any differences in your vision at the moment than what you normally experience? Any, uh, anything that you're concerned about or changes that you've noticed? Have you noticed any swelling? Okay. All right. Thank you so much for being patient with me and answering those questions. I'm going to start off by looking for some pupillary defects. Um, I'm just going to be shining this very bright light, apologies in advance, uh, into your eyes. I'm going to be checking out your pupils. So. I want you to stare off into the distance, okay? You don't have to look directly at the light at all. I'll be bringing it into your field of vision, but I don't want you to have to focus on the bright light, okay? So I'll be looking at not only the pupil that I'm shining the light in, but also the pupil that I'm not shining the light in. Make sure that they're reacting how they should, and making sure that they're symmetrical. Okay, very good. You can go ahead and relax. Right now, I just want you to do a few exercises for me. Let's go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, open your eyes. Can you look up for me? Look down without moving your head. Look to the side and to the other side without moving your head. Okay, wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and relax. I'm gonna go ahead and have you follow my finger. Um, just with your eyes, if you can keep your head as steady as possible. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go ahead and hold your eyelids open very gently. Is that okay? And I'm going to have you follow my finger again. Okay, very good. Sometimes it's hard to see the eye moving down when you look down because your eyelids cover it. So we have to hold up the eyelids. Okay. So all of your positions of gaze. Look good, nothing inconsistent. I'm gonna go ahead and get some measurements with my exophthalmeter. Uh, that's just a fancy word for <laughs> measuring tool that I'll be using. So I just need you to position your head and your neck as naturally as possible. Now these points are going to go on either side of your eyes. Um, if it's uncomfortable, just let me know. Uh, but it shouldn't be. I'm just going to need to slide this. Okay. I'm going to make a note of the measurements. Okay. And we're going to do this again. But this time, I need you to build up some vascular pressure in your face. And to do that, um, 
I basically just need you to make your face red, so have uh, some pressure built up. So I want you to lean over, okay? Hold your nose with your fingers and blow, like you're blowing up a balloon or something, okay? Now, you can just hold this for 20, uh, maybe not even 20 seconds, I think 10 seconds is usually enough. So just hold your nose and blow. Okay, very good. You can go ahead and relax. A lot of people don't like doing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a second measurement here. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check for any abnormalities uh, or anything that we should be concerned with behind your eyes uh, just by having you close your eyes and I'm going to use my thumbs to very gently just press on your eyes I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on it at all but I just want you to keep your eyes closed and relaxed okay go ahead and close your eyes I'm going to do both at the same time which helps me determine if there are any inconsistencies or if it's not symmetrical. I don't feel anything to be concerned about. Okay, very good. You can open your eyes or keep them closed because I'm just going to check the bony rims around your eyes. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just going to make sure that all of this is intact. There are no fractures, swelling, or anything that we should be concerned about. So, go ahead and just feeling around on the tops. And then I'm going to go down your nose here, and then under the eyes here. Okay. Okay, I don't feel any abnormalities on the nasal bridge. I don't feel any abnormal notches or anything. It seems like you have a little bit of an inconsistency on this side. So I'm just going to note that, but it's nothing to be immediately worried about. Have you ever had any drama to your face on that side in particular? Okay. Alright, let's test your facial sensation. So I'm going to be doing V1, V2, and the V3 zones. I'm just going to use the backs of my fingers and I want you to tell me if it feels the same on both sides and of course importantly if you can feel it at all okay I'm going to lightly touch the skin on your forehead did that feel the same on both sides okay next over your nose bridge and then your cheeks. I'm going to lightly touch both sides. Did that feel the same on both sides? Okay. And then here along your chin and jawline. I'm going to go ahead and lightly touch both sides. Did that feel the same? Okay. All right. Next, we are going to be checking your facial strength, checking for any facial nerve injuries, again, inconsistencies, weaknesses, etc. So that means we're going to do a couple more exercises. So go ahead and raise your eyebrows up, furrow them down. Very good. Now I'm going to ask you to tightly squeeze your eyes shut, keep them closed. I'm going to try to open them. Closed. Good. 
Okay, you can go ahead and relax. Sometimes when a patient has uh, a trauma or a weakness, they are unable to keep one uh, of their eyes closed. Sometimes both, but uh, usually what we see is uh, trauma on one or the other side. Okay, so let's move down to your jaw. So if you just clench your jaw, does your jaw feel aligned for the most part? Okay. Uh, do you feel any pain when you bite down? Good. Okay. I'm going to check your maxilla instability. Um, and that just means I'm going to be putting a gloved hand in your mouth above your teeth. So up above, kind of like where your gum line is. And I'm going to very gently move my hand back and forth. Like really gently. Your neck shouldn't move at all. But I'm going to make sure that there's no instability here that could be affecting the orbital zone. Okay. So I'm going to put my hand in your mouth and just very gently. Okay. Some people are surprised when we check the mouth and the jaw during an orbital exam, but it is certainly all connected. Okay. You're doing really well. Thank you so much. Uh, are you comfortable still? Next, I'm going to be putting a stethoscope on your eyelids. You ever had that done before? This is just a precaution to check for any vascular tumors. I'm going to listen for any bruise that I hear uh, potentially behind the eyelid. So I just need you to, again, close your eyes and I'm going to take a listen. And the other eye. Very good. Nothing abnormal. I don't hear anything. That's concerning. Okay. I'm going to have you do a more typical eye test. I'm going to have you hold this in front of either of your eyes. I'm going to ask you to read this chart. So go ahead and take this, hold it in front of, let's do your left eye, cover your left eye first. With your right eye, can you tell me the smallest line you can read and then read it out loud for me? Can you read this line? Can you read this line? And give it your best shot. Okay. I'm going to have you switch eyes, so go ahead and we're going to take that one and move it to this right eye over here. So now I want you to read with your left eye the lowest line you can read. Can you do this one for me? And can you read one lower? Go ahead and give it your best shot. Okay. Okay. You can keep that on your right eye. Still with your left eye. Slowly follow.
very good. I'm gonna have you go ahead and switch from this eye to covering your left eye and I want to do the light test again with your right eye. So we're gonna start in the center, follow the light, very good. Good. Very good. And here. Okay. And then around slowly in a circle. Very good. You can go ahead and uncover your eye, take that from you. Okay. I'm gonna check uh, your optic nerve by doing a few small tests. Now, this one, I'm going to be covering your eye for you. And I want you to tell me, with this eye covered, what color pen is this? Good. Okay. Let's cover your other eye. And I want you to tell me what color pen is this? Okay. Were they the same color? Were the reds different? Okay. All right. Once again, I'm going to cover your eye for you. I'm going to move this light into your eye. Okay. I'm going to cover your eye and move this light into your eye. Was one of the lights brighter or dimmer than the other, or were they the same? Okay. Usually, if one of them is, or appears dimmer to our patient, we can ask, because it's a fairly subjective test, what percentage uh, dimmer or brighter the one side was. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do want to check your peripherals, your focus, and then we're going to just test your pressure inside your eye. I'm going to give you some eye drops for that, and then we can send you on your way. You should be good to drive, or if somebody is picking you up, that's good too. Okay. So with this peripheral check, I want you to go ahead and stare right at my nose, okay? I'm going to hold my hands up, and I want you to tell me, while well, looking at my nose the whole time, don't cheat, how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? All right, here we go. Good. 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 Can you do the same thing, but with one eye covered? Okay. Here we go. Good. 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 And then, of course, let's cover the other eye. Here we go. Good. 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 Perfect. Good. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I can't hold my fingers up. However. Go ahead and uncover your eyes. And once again, I want you to look at my nose. I'm going to have my two fingers here. I'm going to be wiggling them out of your vision. When you can't see my fingers anymore, let me know. Again, stay focused on the center point. Here we go. Good. 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 Perfect. 
perfect. Okay, time to cover that eye. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Now that you know what to expect, let me know when you can't see my fingers anymore. Okay. Okay. There. Right there. Okay. Go ahead and cover your other eye. Let's do this one more time. Okay. Very good. Okie dokie. Go ahead and uncover your eye. I'm going to take this red pen again. And I'm going to be bringing it closer to your face. I want you to your best ability to stay focused on this pen. You ready? Okay, very good. Go ahead and cover your eye. Okay, and your other eye. Perfect. So I'm going to have you slightly tilt your head backwards. And we're just going to drop and drop and do a little cotton ball here. It for a moment. And then I'm just going to be getting a pressure reading. I'm going to very, very, very lightly touch the surface of your eye. These drops should make it so you don't feel a thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and look straight forward or wherever you're comfortable. I'm just going to... Okay. Very good. And let me write down that reading. Now for your other eye. Okay. Let me write down that reading. Okay. Now I want you to look up, okay? We're going to do the same thing. Do you have any questions for me? You should have your results soon. And then if I need to refer you to another doctor, um, I will. And I can just give you a call or just email work better. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for coming. you remember me, but my name is Dr. GB. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? I'm glad to hear that it's a lot better. I'm here to just do your final exam, uh, do some tests before we discharge you from the hospital. But hopefully after everything, 
you're in tip-top shape and ready to get back to back to normal okay no problem uh, before I begin did you have any questions at all for me uh, is there anything hurting anything uh, feel wrong or anything you wanted me to look at in particular okay okay good sure sure that's normal uh, yeah it's it's totally normal that's a good question I'm just gonna get your temperature so go ahead In a minute. Okie dokie. Very good. Very good. And what's the last time a nurse changed your gauze? Okay, I'm gonna do that then because it looks like it's been a second here. So let me just. But your pain management is okay. Good. Good. Okay. And this is just going to clean up the wound. out of the hospital and into your comfy bed. Okay, let's get you wrapped up again. Just like that. Does that feel secure? Okay. Let me actually go ahead and grab a pen. Check your chart. things that they want to just verify before you leave. Um, so I do want to do a couple of vision tests with you. I do want to just take a look in your ears, nose and throat, um, and then just do a couple of palpitations and feel around. Is that okay? Yeah, it shouldn't be anything too invasive or unpleasant. It's just, I do want to start just with your, with your heart. We're going to take a little listen. It's working. Okay, go ahead and breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go behind you. If you could breathe in and then just hold it and out. One more time, breathe in. Hold it and out. So you haven't had any chest pain, uh, just tightness, trouble breathing. What about heart palpitations? No. No. Good. Your blood pressure looks great. And, um, how is your vision? Okay. Alright, well then I'm going to want to just take this light here. And what I'm gonna do is... You can just look past my shoulder, to the curtain back there. Okay. Other side, look past my shoulder. Okay. Let me see here. Because what I want to do just make sure that everything is working properly. So I'm going to add a tilt you back and just one drop. One drop in each eye. And I want you to look at my nose. Okay? Blink. Okay, look at my nose. Okay, blink. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, look at my nose. Good, blink. Look at my nose. Blink. Okay, can you cover your Cover your right eye. Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do is just ask you, without moving your head, to follow this light. Everything looks good. I just want to make a note for your checkup appointment that the right eye is a little stronger than the other. So, actually, let me just on the left. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do a favor for me and uh, keep your right eye covered. And go ahead and tell me while looking at my nose, you're already doing a good job, which side is moving. It shouldn't be a big deal, it's just something that when you come in for your checkup, it should improve by then. When did you make when did you make your checkup appointment for? Okay. Yeah, if it hasn't improved by then, I would say we could do something about it. Um but honestly, 
It's 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 not bad. It's not a big deal. Okay. I'm gonna take this stick next, and uh, I want you to close your eyes so you can feel that this is very dull point, very soft. I want you to close your eyes and tell me when you feel me touching your face with this. Okay? Alright, close your eyes. Good. 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 No numbness up here either. That's good to hear. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick peek in your ears. any trouble hearing, are you? I said, you're not having any trouble hearing, are you? That was my fault, I mumbled. Soreness in the mouth. Good. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Especially after surgery, we had to put the tube down your throat. A lot of people actually complain when they get out of surgery that their their throat hurts. Yeah. Um, and I have in my notes that. You did have a tube, so I just wanted to make sure that that was all back to normal. Are you swallowing fine, eating fine? Good. Good, good, good. Alright, so... Let me just... Go ahead and get ready to send you home with some things. Now, um, something like Mederma is going to be very good for scarring. What you can do is follow the instructions on the back just to make sure that uh, you're doing it correctly. But you can do this up to three times daily for eight weeks on new scars and at least three times daily for three to six months on existing scars, but so give this a try <clears throat> up to three times a day um, make sure that you know that this is a 30 SPF sunscreen as well but what you do is you just get a little bit on I would do it on a little cotton pad here And this can go right on your scar. I just put a new gauze and bandage on you, so I don't wanna don't wanna mess that up for you. And then 
if you're having any extra swelling or anything like that, I can send you home with some of these instant cold packs. You just shake the contents to the bottom of the pack, locate the inner pouch, and squeeze firmly to break it. Shake it gently. And then you don't want to put this right on your skin, especially on your head. You want to just wrap it in a soft cloth or towel. Yeah, it can be pretty thin so that at least you can feel the cold. You don't want it to be too thick or else like this is not going to reach your skin or reduce your swelling in any way. But don't keep it on for more than 20 minutes. Um, if you think you need more than that, or if you are swelling a lot, just let us know. And then, uh, this is one of the single-use ones. Um, we'll give you a few of these. But you can go ahead and buy just your regular ice packs as well. Yeah, that you can reuse. Okay. Let's see, this one's cold. It's normal to expect some swelling, but I think that yours has gone down quite a bit. Alright, you're doing great. I just changed your gauze, but I feel like you have changed it enough by now that you're going to use two of these. Make sure you keep them wrapped before you're ready to use them. And two of these should work on your head. And you can wrap yourself back up. You shouldn't need to use these for too much longer. No. Probably about five days. And then you can just let the healing do its thing. Give it some air. Start putting on your scar cream. I know when we get patients in here with a, any sort of head trauma or injury, it's so funny, it's the first thing they ask, is it gonna leave a scar, is it gonna leave a scar? And I'm like, let's make sure that you're gonna leave the hospital, you know? So, if you do need pain relief, um, we are giving you ibuprofen, your pain rating is scoring at a... Okay, about a two. That's great. You definitely want to be aware and careful on what you're taking, but uh, we should have gone over that with you, and if you need somebody else to talk to you about that before you leave. Sure. I am just going to go ahead and trim your bandage here. There we go. Sorry I was sticking out. Okay. Yep. Is there anything else? Yes. Yes, that on your arm here, this is something that I can... Let me go ahead and grab. You can just use a bandage. Yep, the IVs that we use here are pretty thin and comfortable, all things considered. But since that was taken out, let's make sure that you have a fresh bandage on there. How does that feel? too painful. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now I do want to do some mobility tests. Look to the side. Any pain? Okay. Other side. Any pain? Okay. And down. Good. You can roll your head in a circle and stop me at any time if you feel anything wrong or uncomfortable. Painful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and feel under your neck. Good. And your throat. Okay. Now, press down on your 
shoulders here. Any pain? Okay. Press a little harder on one side. Add another on the other side. Okay. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? And let them drop. Lift one shoulder. Let it drop. Lift the other. Let it drop. Okay. Just give me a big roll back and forward. Can you raise your arm? Other arm. Good. Give yourself a hug. Very nice. I think you just deserved that. Great. Um, and then on your chest here. I don't feel anything tender or lumpy where it shouldn't be. Okay. And on your stomach, I'm just gonna and no pain at all when I do that. Good, okay. I'm gonna come around. To the back here. I'm gonna go down your back. Anything feel painful? How about numbness? Nothing. Good, good, good. No numbness. <laughs> so by nothing you mean something. <laughs> okay. And then back of the head. Okay. Can I have you stick out your tongue for me? Good. Open your jaw. Close it. Can you smile? Good. How about frown? Stick out your lip. Okay. Do that again. Okay. That's good. Can you raise your eyebrows for me? And furrow them. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now when you close your eyes, I'm going to try to open them, okay? Don't let me. Okay. Alright. Did you get your blood drawn? Already done. Right. Everything else is good. Is your digestion okay? Anything abnormal? Got a bit of this bandage hanging down again. This is why I don't usually do. There are people much more skilled than I am. Oh, that's my knee. Yeah. And your appetite. Normal. Hospital food. Yeah, okay. And how are your headaches? Okay. And I see you're taking... Okay. But to help with the headaches, I'm gonna say it's getting better. Good. Good, good. Alright. Well, I think that you are ready to get out of here. Go ahead and uh, sign off on this, and we can help you into the lobby. Gather all your things. Is somebody picking you up? And good. All right. You've scheduled your follow-up appointment. Good. I'm so glad that you're feeling better. It's great to see you in good shape. And uh, 
if you have any questions at all, any problems, just give us a call. Okay? All right, let me go get this all signed up and somebody will come in to escort you out. Absolutely. All right, take care. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. GB. I understand that you are a brand new patient. Well, wonderful. Absolutely uh, no problem. I'm happy to welcome you in. It just means a little bit of a longer consultation, but I won't keep you for too long. Okay. So, could I just verify your name? And how do you spell the last name? L. Okay. Perfect. No, they seem they misspelled that. I knew that looked a little bit interesting. Okay, it's just the three letters. Perfect. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, where are you from? Oh, wow. All right. So, what brings you to America? Well, if I would recommend anything, uh, have you been to New York City? You haven't? New York City is a very overwhelming, but um, very, very typical of the American tourist experience. Uh, if you want to be dazzled, and we're not too far from there, so I would definitely make a trip if you can. So it just seems like you are here for a an annual checkup. Are you planning on staying here long? You just want to make sure you have a doctor in the United States that, you know, knows your medical history, uh, make sure uh, you can call if you need something. I totally understand that. Yes, that's very smart. So let me see. When is your birthday? May. Does that make you a Taurus? I'm not caught up in uh, astrology or anything, but uh, I think I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions uh, just about just some very basic uh, medical questions so I know what to look for. Uh, I'm sure you filled out a lot of paperwork in the reception area. Yes, of course. Okay, so... Okay. Have you gotten your flu shot this year? You haven't. Okay. Well, that's not surprising. Uh, especially when you're traveling, um, there are going to be different sort of vaccine uh, suggestions and requirements. But I would recommend that you get the flu vaccine it's not too late, uh, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of traveling around the states. It's just um, just in your best interest to be protected, and your body might not be used to all of the germs and things that are around. Yes, yeah, so we can get you set up with a flu shot. That's totally fine. It's actually... Uh, very, very affordable, especially depending on what type of insurance you have, but we'll, we can check that with the front desk. And do, 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 do you drink or smoke? Okay, about once a week drinking. Um, and what do you typically drink? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's not, that's nothing too concerning for me. Um, but you don't smoke. Okay. And how often do you exercise? Two to three times a week. That's really good. What types of exercise do you do? Okay. Perfect. Perfect.
perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, what, what's your profession? Okay, a manager. So do you spend a lot of time sitting at your desk? Do you get a lot of uh, sunlight in your office? Uh, do you take breaks? It's definitely important to take breaks, uh, both from eye strain, from looking at your computer screen, and also just getting up and moving around your muscles, so break from sitting. I'd usually recommend, if you can, every 10 minutes or so, if you catch yourself, to look away from the computer screen, look at something else, and then back. And uh, then about every half an hour to hour or so, I would say get up and, and stretch. You don't have to do anything uh, major at all. Go get a drink of water, walk to the bathroom, just, you know, touch your toes for a little bit. Yeah, but I would definitely suggest that office jobs um, may not come with a lot of dangers. Uh, I like to ask all of my patients what they do for a living because uh, it does affect your health depending on what you do. Uh, but office jobs, you know, we can see a lot of eye strain, back pain, uh, wrist problems, things like that. Yeah. Okay. So... Let me see. Do you have any uh, medical conditions or issues that you'd like me to make sure I look at or any questions before we start? Gastritis, I see. This is something I can definitely take a look at. So what are your symptoms? some stomach pain and yeah yeah that can be hard because it's hard to define why we are getting stomach pain mm -hmm. have you been diagnosed before okay I can definitely recommend some things to you uh, especially if you don't want to go on any sort of medication kind of be controlled by your eating habits can help a lot um, we can try certain elimination diets to see what triggers the gastritis. We can go over that later. Um, let me actually take a look right now. I just want to listen to your heart and then look at your eyes, ears, nose, throat, get your blood pressure. And did, uh, did the nurse get your height and weight? What was your height? Okay, perfect. And have you lost any sort of like weight recently or noticed any big changes? Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take a listen to your heart. So I'm just going to ask you to breathe in. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in. Hold it, and out. I'm just going to place this on your back, breathe in, and hold it, and out. Okay, now you can breathe normally. Okay, very good. Your heart sounds very normal. Do you have any sort of heart palpitations or any sort of uh, medical history problems with your heart? Okay, I'm getting good. So we are going to. I'm just gonna pull up my document here. And. I'm just gonna get your blood pressure. Just take this little cuff.
I'm gonna put this on your arm and then it's gonna get a little bit tight is completely normal. Not high, not low. Very good. There. So what is your diet like? Do you have any favorite foods? I actually haven't had dumplings in quite some time. I think there are a few places around here that might serve something along that nature, but I don't think I've ever found a, found a good place. I have a sesame allergy myself, so sometimes it's hard for me to uh, go to certain types of cuisine. Uh, different restaurants have a lot of, uh, a lot of sesame in it. Chinese restaurants, Japanese, Korean food, Mediterranean food. Uh, yeah, it's rough. But good, no, I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, make sure you get your vegetables as well. And some protein. Good. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just take your temperature. You want to grab those vitals there. Just go ahead and put this under your tongue. And just hold it there. Good. Perfect. And then I also just want to take a look at your eyes, uh, inside your ears, your nose, your throat. How have you been enjoying your travels? Good. It's a long plane ride, huh? Does flying bother you? No? Good. A lot of patients uh, complain about uh, their flights flying. Oh, oh yeah. But I'm glad to hear that. It doesn't bother you. Okay. So, I'd like to just use this light to take a look in your eyes, so if you wouldn't mind removing your glasses. Thank you. And go ahead and look straight ahead, just past my shoulder. Okay. And now over the shoulder. Your pupils are dilating and contracting as normal when I pull the light right in front of them. Um, if you could look up for me. And now, look to the side. Other side. And look down. I'm just going to go ahead and pull your eyelids up here. Just give it a look like that. You have very nice eyes. I quite like uh, dark eyes. I think are very striking. Yeah. Okay. Your eyes look good. Um, I assume that your glasses prescription is up to date. Good. Okay. I will make you do a vision test today. Will, however, take a look in your ears and have you had any trouble, um, any trouble hearing, uh, any buildup? Good. Alright, well, let me just take a look. Okay. 
side looks good. I'm just gonna look at the other side here. Okay. I don't see any uh, major buildup or anything to be concerned about. If you're having trouble hearing, you can certainly uh, stop by and we can do an ear cleaning for you. Mm -hmm. We would use... I don't think I have one lying around, but we use a, a pick. Clear away the big blockage and then use water and put that uh, in the ear canal to sort of uh, essentially power wash the inside of your ear. Some patients love it. They swear by it. Okay, so I'm gonna check your throat. So if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and open your mouth and say, ah, uh, uh. very good, thank you. And then I just want to take a look with this mirror, so keep your mouth open, just around the mouth, find the teeth. normal. You want to make sure that there's nothing, uh, there's no growths or signs of decay or things like that, um, in which case I would just send you to a specialist, but it's my job to make sure. Yeah, I did notice that your eyes are fairly dry. Uh, if you just traveled, I could only totally understand why um, a lot of the airplane environment can be very, very uh, drying. Um, so, uh, you could use these. These are just some eye drops. And what you do with them is look up. You just do two drops in each eye. Yes, very moisturizing. And that should clear up any redness. So I'll leave these with you. All right. Also, I just want to look in your nose. Good. Perfect. Okay. So, um, have you gotten your reflexes tested recently? So all I'm going to do is use this uh, sort of rubber hammer. You can feel it. And I'm going to go ahead and just tap on your elbow here. Good. That's it. I'll tap on your other elbow here. Good. I'm going to do the same thing to your knees. Good. Other knee. And now I'm just going to examine lightly uh, just around the major parts of your body. I'm going to press a bit on your stomach and you let me know if anything hurts or feels uncomfortable or swollen or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top of your head. Uh, luckily, you have very short hair, which makes it easy for me to see your scalp. Make sure that there's no sores or uh, mice or anything like that. Everything looks very clean and good. I know, one day I'm just going to shave my head and be done with it, honestly. Alright, and now I'm going to just press on your face. to feel your lymph nodes. Good. Down your neck. Top of your shoulders. And down the sides of your arm. Okay. Now I'm going to do some tapping on your torso. So again, go ahead and let me know if anything feels uncomfortable. Um, 
just feeling for the resistance and the, um, the density of your organs and your muscles, just to make sure everything is normal. good. And now, I do want to talk about your gastritis complaints, um, especially with your diet. I think that we could do a form of elimination diet here. Uh, with gastritis, uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, things like processed foods, gluten, acidic foods, dairy, sugar, spicy foods, alcohol, all the fun stuff. Exactly. Um, so I'd like for you to eliminate these from your diet um, for a few weeks at a time if you can. You can try one and see if it goes away. You can try them all at once and then we can slowly introduce them back in. But especially if it's bothering you that much, cutting out these foods, especially things like sugar, processed foods, um, and alcohol, is just going to be good for you. We can test you for gluten sensitivity as well. I'm going to go ahead and give you this. Okay. And what you can do, actually, is eat more garlic. Mm-hmm. You can take garlic supplements, um, or you can just literally eat more raw garlic. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, it does help. Um, you can also introduce uh, probiotics to your diet, so things like yogurt, kimchi, uh, kombucha. If you've never tried kombucha, that's an interesting one to introduce. Mm -hmm. Garlic and probiotics can certainly help, and these are just uh, sort of natural remedies that you can do uh, in your diet. Otherwise, we can start you on some supplements. Okay. All right. Well, I think all that's left then is to get you your flu shot. I'm gonna get a new glove here. And um, your vaccine records otherwise seem to be up to date, so you shouldn't need anything else. This is definitely just a, it's a good idea to get. Yeah. I'm going to get a cotton ball. And which arm do you predominantly write with? Okay. I'm going to do it on your left arm. And I'm just going to lift your sleeve here, and... Okay. Let that dry for a moment there. Go ahead and... should be fairly painless. So take a deep breath, relax your arm. Three, two, one. Done. Very good. That's it. Yep, the needle size that we use is extremely thin. So honestly, sometimes I can't even tell when I've gotten an injection. No. So your arm could be a little bit sore. Um, just for, you know, about a day or so. Uh, sometimes 
it can go up to two days uh, depending on the person so just take it easy if you need to put some ice on it that's totally fine On your arm. Okay. Now, um, I believe. Okay. The last thing that I do want to do is sign you up for our patient portal. So, you can do all of that online. Do you mind giving me your email? How many O's? Okay. At I've never heard of that before. Dot com. Okay. We can sign you up for the patient portal. That way you can actually message me directly if you have any problems. Um, you can make appointments there, access your records, etc. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for choosing my practice, and hopefully if you need anything during your travels, during your stay here, that uh, we can help you with that. So, have a safe trip, and uh, enjoy all of your sightseeing. Alright, nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Hello. Come in. Hi there. I'm Dr. GB. Nice to meet you. I heard you're feeling very under the weather today. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that, but let me take a look at you and then I will see where to go from there. Just uh, disinfecting my hands here. Have you been to the doctor? Since your sickness has started up. This is your first time, okay. Alright, well, I'm glad you came in so we can take a look and make sure it's nothing too serious. We're having a pretty horrible flu season. I'm actually getting over some sort of cough myself. No longer contagious, of course, but it's good to be back at work. Okay. So, your name? Okay, good. We like to make sure that we're working with the right patient. You'd be surprised. Um, your birthday? Just confirm. Okay. Alright. So, it says that you're having some headaches, congestion, any coughing. Can you take a deep breath in for me? Okay. I see. Have you noticed any coughing during the Okay. A little bit. Nothing too serious. Okay. So, you're not coughing up any mucus, anything solid. No, it's been pretty dry. Okay. Alright, well, that's a good sign. Um, how often... Have you been getting these headaches? Okay, they're pretty constant. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad would you say they are? The worst. The best. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty awful. Have you tried any um, pain medication or anything? Okay, yeah, did that help? A little bit. Well, I would definitely recommend continuing with that. You can take it every four to six hours, so um, you can write down the times when you took the medication, and then be sure to not forget sometimes when we take medication and we start feeling better, we forget to continue the treatment, yeah. and it just comes back. Okay. So, do you have any chest discomfort? Anything any pain, any tightness, okay, any trouble breathing besides the congestion, just that, okay, 
So, we've had quite a few flu cases in here this week. The flu is uh, very contagious. It's a respiratory illness, so I would actually expect to see a little bit of different symptoms from you. Um, the flu spread um, between the upper and lower respiratory tract. It seems like you might just have a cold, a uh, pretty nasty cold, but let me just take a listen. I want to listen to your lungs, okay? Look straight past me and breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. And the other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. I'm going to uh, take a listen on your back as well. That will help me hear. Breathe in. And out. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe Alright, so you sound pretty good. Better um better than I thought you would to be honest. So I'm going to take your blood pressure and the nurse didn't come in, did she? Okay. So I'll get your blood pressure now. So you've had your blood pressure taken before, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. So this is going um, around your arm. You don't have any injuries to your arms. And then I put that in there. I'm going to put on my stethoscope. Andy Andy bulb. And we're gonna take a listen. Okay. Breathe tight. Yeah, it's okay. Alright. Nothing uh, nothing too crazy there. Take that off. Very good. And your blood pressure is normal. Have you had a history of high or low blood pressure? Okay. Alright. Next, I want to take your temperature. So I'm just going to get the thermometer here. And I'm gonna ask you to put this under your tongue, okay? Up by down. Not too hard. And we're gonna leave that in there for about 10 seconds. Okay. Um, no fever. Very, 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 very slight, if any. Um, you just might run a little high. Okay. Yeah. So, I really do not think this is the flu. Count yourself lucky. Did you get the flu shot this year? Make sure you get it every year. Um, it really can go from, you know, late fall to early spring. It is prime time for the flu. So, we want to be extra careful with that and make sure that you're protected. So when you get vaccinated, it, it helps the flu not spread, so it can help people who 
can't get vaccinated uh, protect them as well so, yeah. and I think if you do it in a grocery store they give you you know discounts off your order and stuff like that so little perks other than you know not getting the flu so let us tackle your symptoms because they still seem pretty lousy do you mind if I just do a tiny bit of a exam on your face? Yeah, it seems like this is more of a head cold attacking your nasal passages and do you have a sore throat? Yeah. Okay. Just going to very quickly pop on some gloves. or something. Yeah. Are you allergic to anything? Okay. All right. Okay. Now, can you blink for me? Good. And close your eyes. I'm going to try to open your eyes. Don't let me. Okay. Open your eyes. Very good. I'm going to take a pink. I need a small light. Now this light, I'm just going to take a look in your nose. So go ahead and just stay there. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's not so much that you have a lot of mucus or anything like that, it comes from the swelling of the nasal passages, which is making it hard for you to breathe. So I can definitely recommend some medication for that. Okay. Can you open your mouth? I'm just going to take a look inside. Okay. Ah. Uh, all right. Yep. A bit red. Most likely irritation from all of that you know, sort of gunk coming down. Are you sniffing constantly? Are you sneezing? Okay. I'm just gonna feel under your ear, under your chin, under your neck. Okay. And look at that peak in the ear. A bit gunked up, but nothing. If you find that your ears get too blocked up, um, we can clean them out for you. Are you having any trouble hearing? Any ear pain? Okay. Well, it seems like um, the best thing for you to do would be to get uh, some sort of nasal decongestant. So that will reduce the swelling and uh, you don't have high blood pressure. No, okay, that's good. So with the decongestants, they range from, you know, simple saline solution all the way up to very medicated sprays. With those, you're going to have to be careful with rebound symptoms or you can get addicted to those pretty quickly. So make sure you're reading and following all the labels on things. Okay. A little bit of those goes a long way as well, but it's definitely worth it to get that good night's sleep. Yeah. Okay, so after you're using this decongestion, if you find that you're having a runny nose, um, you might get some more symptoms of that post-nasal drip. So for that, I would recommend that you would take some sort of antihistamine. Um, you're not taking any other medication. 
You have to be careful with how it might react to other stuff. So make sure you check with me or with another doctor or get labels before you take anything. Um, antihistamine can make you a bit sleepy. Sometimes in small children it makes them very hyper. Um, but more in the tendency with adults. Um, it can make you sleepy, so just keep that in mind if you're planning on driving or operating any equipment. Um, but you really should be staying home and resting if you can. All right, for that minor cough, um, you can just be taking a regular cough drop, or I actually have something that might help with that sore throat. There are the more medicated cough drops. Um, you can find these off the counter. Uh, there's plenty of brands, but essentially these uh, will numb your throat. They have an oral anesthetic in them. So it's a bit of a strange feeling at first. But if your throat is numb, it's, uh, you can't really feel the pain. I know, I've been there. I was just there. So with these, you can't just eat them like candy, like you can with the other cough drops, which I don't recommend either, you know? Uh, cough drops are, <laughs> you know, medicine. Uh, but these, you can only take one every two hours. You please don't take more than that. Um, always follow the instructions and the drug facts on the back. Definitely check these out. Can have the nurse give you a sample. All right, and then you can look at the more traditional cough medicine uh, for nighttime while you're sleeping. Okay. Next, I'm going to recommend that you keep drinking lots of fluids. Okay. If the sore throat is, you know, a little bit too much for you try gargling with salt water. So you want to mix like a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon with uh, warm water and you gargle that. Um, but other than that, keep drinking as much as you can, as much water. And since um, you're going to be doing a lot of, you know, medicating, um, be careful about sore throats. You know, you might not notice if your sore throat is getting worse, so please keep that in mind. If it is getting worse, I would definitely come back so we can check you for strep. Give it a few days. If your throat's still hurting or if it gets worse at all, please come back and we'll do a strep test on you because with that, you're going to need um, some form of antibiotics. Well, Antibiotics won't help with your cold or flu because those are viral. So taking antibiotics would actually just hurt in the long run. A lot of people like to come into the clinic and you know they just want antibiotics shoved at them, but I promise you that's not how it works. Okay. And then finally always recommend the hot shower. Get that room nice and steamy sort of acts as a, uh, a humidifier it really can help clear things out and if you like spicy foods you can try that too okay so I am recommending the decongestant fluids cough drops cough medicine okay and of course uh, keep an eye on that Okay, so since the flu is quite rampant this year, um, I'd like you to keep a few things in mind. Um, good habits for flu prevention, you know, you have to protect your immune system. Bad habits will hurt your immune system. So the most important thing is to reduce stress, okay? 
flooding your body constantly with stress hormones. It doesn't give your body a chance to heal itself, to recover, or really to protect or defend itself against anything. So, find a nice way to meditate every day, to relax, you know? It is, it is uh, you know, a physical toll on your body to be stressed. So please make sure to, you know, pick a daily relaxation technique that works for you, okay? Um, and on top of that, please make sure you're getting enough sleep. I know that it's hard, especially when you're feeling poorly, um, but seven to eight hours of sleep at least a night is what we're recommending. Um, that's right. So make sure you get in bed early. Get those eight hours. And then we are also um, just sort of reminding people to wash their hands more. Okay? So you should be washing your hands for as many times as it takes you to sing happy birthday twice. Okay? Some people only get to the happy birthday to you and then they're out of there. So sing through the whole song twice. Uh, let me make sure to get between your fingers, your fingertips, where a lot of the touching is, back of your hands, you know, yeah, make it all bubbly and sudsy. And then, of course, uh, keep your fingers away from your mouth and your eyes and all that good stuff. Okay, well, I'm sorry that I can't make you feel better right away, but hopefully this will help you a bit. Definitely uh, go home, start on that rest, start on that relaxation, and hopefully this cold will go away for you. Keep an eye on it. If you're not feeling better within a couple of days, a week, please give my office a call and we'll get you back in here. Alright, thank you for coming in, and I hope you feel better soon. Okay, alright. Hi there. I'm sorry to hear you weren't feeling well. There seems to be something going around. I've had quite a few patients in here this afternoon, and many of them are experiencing the same symptoms. So if I could just get a bit of your information before we begin, would you mind? Great, thank you. What's your name? Is this your first time visiting this this hospital in particular? Okay. Who did you see before? Okay. Sounds good. Do you have any allergies that we should be aware of? Any allergies to medication in particular? Okay. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about what you're feeling. Um, have you had any nausea? Sore throat? Swollen eyes? Puffy eyes? Any sort of uh, vocal loss? Hearing loss? Changes in your vision? Um, changes in your digestive system? Okay, what about fever? had the nurse check your fever, and it seems like you're not doing too bad. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, chills. What about is any abnormal sweating? Do you feel overheated? Okay. Perfect. So, I'm just gonna do a couple tests on you to begin. I really would like to take a look. Okay. Check your teeth and your throat, okay? So I'm just gonna use this as a light. Let's see. 
your mouth now. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. One more time. Just open your mouth once again. Just gonna check your teeth. Not touching anything. Just taking a little peek. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're experiencing some of the same symptoms. And while I have you, I'm just going to take a peek in uh, in each ear, all right? Okay. Just a quick one. Okay. Thank you. I just want to do a few tests. Very simple tests. I'm just trying to check a couple nerves. Okay. Can you follow my finger? Okay. I'm going to move my finger outward and put my fingers up. And just tell me how many I'm, uh, I'm holding up, okay? Four. Four. Two. One. Two. Two. Okay, very good. you could raise your shoulders for me. Is there any pain there? Okay. How about if you puff out your cheeks? Okay. And can you swallow for me? Good. Perfect. Alright, now can you squeeze your eyes shut really tight? Alright, I'm gonna try to open them. Don't move, okay? Good. Now, can you stick out your tongue? Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, I want you to hold your hands out for me, okay? And I'm just going to... Can you feel that on each of your fingers? Good. Okay, the other hand. Good. No numbness or anything. I'm going to use this stick to just touch bits of your face, and I want you to close your eyes, okay? So with your eyes closed, I'm going to touch your face, and you let me know when you feel it, okay? I'm just going to test for numbness in the facial area. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Okay. So it seems like you're a little bit stopped up in your ears. I'm just going to be whispering some numbers from ear to ear. And can you repeat them back to me? Okay. Good. Three, four, seven, 
Okay, now if you don't mind, I'm just going to just feel under here, your lymph nodes, and around your skull, okay? A little swollen, especially under here. Yeah, you feel that? Okay, thank you. Okay, so the first thing that I have for you is this anti itch cream. So you just say you put this underneath your neck okay and this area is going to be especially sensitive to the sun and this should help that as well okay okay so I would like to do a very thorough eye exam now going to do a few tests. Nothing too invasive or difficult. So, have you had any blurriness? Have you had trouble reading from a distance or reading close? No. But your eyes just feel a little off. Okay. Well, let me do some tests and let's see what we can find, okay? Okay. So, I just want to get my light You can just look straight ahead. I'm just going to take a look at your pupils, okay? Okay. would like for you to now follow this light, okay? Yep, very simple. Now, can you concentrate on the light? I'm going to bring it closer to your eyes. Okay, very good. And uh, I'm going to be turning it on and off. want to take a peek in your eye and just see some of the reactions that I'm getting. Okay. pretty well to the light, but 
I saw a couple abnormalities that I just want to rule out with some finger tests. Awesome. So, if you could focus on my nose, I'm going to do the same thing I just did with the light, bringing it in and out. Okay, great. And can you just cover one eye? And the other eye, please. Okay. Very good. And again, just focus on my nose this time. I'm going to be moving my fingers out of your peripheral vision. Just tell me when you can't see my fingers um, anymore. Okay, great. Good. 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 Now, could you try it with one eye covered? And the other eye. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Now again, cover your eye. Keep your eye focused on my nose, and I am going to be putting random numbers with my fingers up in the air. Just tell me what number. Awesome. Three. Good. One. Perfect. Two. Three. Two. Four. For the other eye and use this one to watch. Okay, here we go. Four, two, one, three, two, one. Perfect. test I want to do with your eyes. It's pretty easy. I'm going to hold this sharpie up and I just want you to cover one eye and with the other eye. Look at the sharpie. Look at me. Look at the sharpie. Look at me. And I'll be moving the sharpie. Different. Okay. Ready? Cover your eye. Look at the sharpie. Look at me. Look at the sharpie. Look at me. Right. Look at the pen. And look at me. Okay. Other eye. Okay. Look at the pen. Look at me. 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 Perfect. Thank you. What I'm going to do now is put a few eye drops in your eye so that the nurse can look a little bit deeper in. Yes, if you had your eyes dilated before. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm just 
gonna put my gloves on and have you lean back okay so this it's it's almost like water it won't bother your eyes too much at all okay keep your eyes open And the other one. Very good. Just wipe that away. Okay. Okay. Okay, so while we are waiting for your to dilate, I just want to do a full body check, if that's okay with you. Wonderful. Okay, great. Let me actually get... Alright. So I'd like to check your heart first. We're moving beyond eye examinations and such. Okay, so I'm gonna press this up against your chest and your back. And every time I tell you to breathe in, just breathe in. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Good. Breathe in. Very good. And I'm on this edge. I just want to catch your blood pressure. Okay. So this cuff is going to go on your arm. been quite quite busy in the hospital today. Seems like everyone is catching the same thing. I just want to write down your results. Examine your face as well as check your lymph nodes, see how they're doing, okay? Since we treated them, as well as your arms and your legs.
Okay. Much better already. Good. And your arm, please. Okay. Yeah, I see the rash that everyone's been getting. Your other arm. Right. Okay. It's not too bad. Um, what I'm going to do is give it a little spray and then a little wipe down with uh, some cotton balls, okay? And that should help. Does it itch? No, no, it hasn't been itching anyone really. This should help uh, make it go away. Okay. Don't just... Alright. And, can I have your other arm? Yeah. It's not as bad on this side. again, do a little bit of a clean, just a quick, nothing too invasive, but it should help you feel a little better. Okay, awesome. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to look in now. Mm-hmm. And then check your elbows as well as your knees. Okay. Good. 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 with your lymph nodes and you can also put it on the rashes on your arms. Mm -hmm. You might have some sun sensitivity and this will really help with that. Okay. So I'll give this to you. And I'm going to start you on a round of medicine and I'll just give you this before you go pick up your prescription. So this will, you can put your pills in each of the days. And I want you to just take one a day in seven days. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So I will give this to you as well. And I also would like to give you one of these ice packs. You 
can actually find them in your pharmacy when you go get, pick up your prescription. But sometimes the medicine makes people a little sore. And they feel like a, like a little bit of muscle burning. And this ice pack can help. All you have to do is squeeze it, shake it, apply it. Okay? But I'll give you one at least. This first aid guide. So this explains the um, virus that's going around right now. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, you can consult this book on your treatment or your medication. And it also has the number of my office, as well as some offices around in case you aren't close to this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll give that to, to you. Do a little bit of patient output. Just want to know that you are getting your prescription. You got the cream and the ice pack and the booklet. Okay. Did you have any other questions for me? Any other symptoms that have been bothering you or anything at all? Okay, good. Well, thank you for coming in. I'm sorry that you're not feeling too well, but hopefully that will make you feel a lot better. Okay? Alright. It's good to see you as well. Alright. Feel better. Hello. Welcome to the ASMR clinic. What are you here for today? Cranial nerve exam? That's next week. Okay. Just a checkup? Perfect. I'm Dr. GB. Nice to meet you. Yes. Welcome to the exam room. I will be performing a very simple diagnostic checkup test just to see where you're at in your health, just to make sure everything is going well. You know that yearly checkups are very important to your health, as well as give you a time to ask health questions. Right. Awesome. So, is this your first time at the ASMR clinic? It is. Okay. What I thought. Um, I have our questionnaire. It's quite long, but I find that all of these questions in here are very useful in getting to know you as a patient. So I'm just going to start with the basics. Today's date. And your name. Okay, great. I spelled it right. And what address do you live at right now? Can you spell that second part? Thank you. The city. And is that zip code? Okay. Alright, thank you. What's the best number to contact you at? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And your email address so we can sign you up for our web portal where you can access your test files. Um, you can email me or any other physicians directly. And can I get your date of birth? And where were you born? Okay, so not too far from here. Are you employed? And what is your occupation? Okay, not too many 
health risks associated with that one as far as I know. But if you can think of any questions, you just don't be afraid to speak up. Okay, now, do you have an emergency contact? And what is their relation to you? Okay, your favorite person in the world. Okay. And now, are you married, single, divorced, or widowed? Okay. And... Could I get the telephone number of your emergency contact? Thank you. Okay. So, are you currently under... Who was your last doctor? Did they treat any ailments or injuries that I should be aware of? Okay, but that's all cleared up. Wonderful. Okay, and so why have you scheduled your doctor appointment? Is there any changes that you've noticed? You just come every year. That's smart. Well, thank you for choosing the ASMR clinic. We're happy to have you. Okay, so are you taking any prescription medications? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. And that one? And, all right. And do you notice any side effects with any of these? Any negative side effects? Sometimes you get insomnia, can't sleep, watch a lot of YouTube videos. I have noticed that that is a side effect of that medication as well. That's okay. If it gets worse, you can come back to the clinic. Wonderful. All right. Are you taking any vitamins, herbal medicines, or supplements? Okay. Yes, I actually recommend that vitamin. It's good for filling in the cracks when you don't always get the nutrients that you need in, from just your food. But if you can get your uh, nutrients from your food, that'd be best. Have you ever had a bad reaction to any medication or supplement? And do you, are you allergic to any substances? Okay, well, you won't find that in here. Don't worry. All right. I'm just going to ask you some questions about your overall physical and mental health. Just answer them as honestly as you can. What is your current weight? They should have weighed you out in the, with the nurse. And your height. Thank you. Um, have you had any recent unexplained weight gain or weight loss? You stay around them. Okay, that's good. And how many hours do you sleep on average at night? Should definitely shoot for eight to nine hours of sleep. Mm hmm. It does make a big difference. I know it's hard though. Um, and are you frequently tired? You did say that you had a side effect of insomnia. Okay. Um, have you had any recent fevers, night, night sweats, or chills? Um, and do you regularly use a seatbelt in automobiles? Good, thank you. And what about a helmet if you ride a bicycle? Very good. I'm just going to go into your medical history. Have you had any major illnesses or surgeries? Surgery. And were there any issues with that? No, it's pretty routine. Okay. Um, do you smoke cigarettes? I always recommend it not. Um, do you drink alcoholic beverages? And if so, how many drinks would you average on every week? Mm -hmm. Or social on the weekend? Okay, just make sure you balance that out with water. Mm -hmm. 
and do drink coffee, tea, caffeinated beverages. Great. And tell me some of your hobbies. What do you like to do outside of work? Rock climbing is a really good activity. Do you have any pets or animals? And have you ever lived outside of the United States? Yes. And have you or your family recently experienced any life changes or unusual psychological stress? Okay, good. Now, about your diet and nutrition. Um, what would be your typical breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Do you do a lot of snacking? Mm -hmm. Some people find it helpful to split up their meals into even five or six tiny meals throughout the day. And you don't have any intolerance, lactose. Okay, good. <laughs> exercise. Do you exercise regularly? That's incredible. Wow. And... What type of exercise do you find yourself doing the most? Cardio? Weights? Thanks. Alright. You sound healthier than me. And do you know of any health reasons that should limit you in participating from any form of physical activity? Any pulled muscles? Okay. And you filled out your family medical history? Good. Thank you. I'm just going to go over the tests you're going to need today. They should be very basic, nothing painful. You're up to date on your immunizations. No x-rays today. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to read you a few symptoms, and can you just let me know if you've experienced these in the last six months? Okay. Feeling hot or cold all the time. Thyroid problems. Diabetes. Excessive thirst. Um, do you have any treatment with steroids? Uh, skin trouble, any rashes? Okay. Any flushing in the face? Other body parts? And any change in your hair or nails? Okay. What about uh, frequent headaches, migraines? Eye or vision problems? Okay. So you did have an eye exam recently. That's, that's good. And you wear contacts. Alright, any hearing problems? You feel a little bit junked up? Okay, we can look inside your ears and hopefully get them cleaned out for you. What about sore throat, post-nasal drip, swollen lymph nodes? Okay, great. And what about coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath? Do you snore at night? Sure. Okay. And abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting. Any swelling you notice in places such as your hands or your feet? Okay. All sounds good. And you said that you don't have any muscles, pain, or stiffness. That's great. Alright, so it seems like you've answered everything that I need to know for today. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to let me know, I can write it down. Okay, I'll be sure to check that. Wonderful, thank you so much. So, what we're going to do now... <coughs> I'm just going to check your face 
Just do a little bit of poking and prodding around. <laughs> but first, um, I will put on my gloves. Don't worry, none of this is going to hurt. It's just examining your external features. Open your mouth. Ah, uh, say ah uh, with me. Ah. Uh. Okay, and I'm gonna get my pen laid out so that I can. There we go. Come here. Mm. There we go. One more time. Thank you. And now come and have you look at my nose. And I'm going to make sure that your pupils are contracting and dilating the way that they should be. And then, okay. Thank you. Now you mentioned that your ears were feeling a little bit stuffed up. Okay. Okay. I am going to attach this to my light. And this is going to go just in your ear. And I'm just going to take a little peek and see what we have. other ear. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I did notice some junk in there, and that's easily taken care of. Um, now I don't recommend you doing this at home because it's easy to puncture your eardrum, but I'm just going to clean out just the external part of your ear. Okay? Okay. So I'm just gonna get in. Okay. And the other side. Is that better? Good. I'm glad. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is feel your lymph nodes, and those are under your jaw. Down your neck. Okay. I don't notice any swelling. Nothing abnormal. Okay. And I'm going to percuss on your chest. And on your abdomen, just to make sure there's no abnormal fluid or shape of your organs. But everything is feeling pretty good. Okay. Now the last thing I want you to do before I check your heart and your blood pressure is to just follow my fingers really fast. So I'm going to pull them away 
when you tell me when they go out of your peripheral vision, okay? Okay. Now? Now? Right there. And right there. Good. Very good. And then I'm going to bring my finger very close to your nose, and I want you to keep your eye on my fingertip, okay? Ready? Very good. And I noticed um, just a little bit of lagging in your one eye, so I'm going to have you cover. Okay? And I just want you to follow the light, okay? Alright. Mm-hmm. Here to here here Okay. Okay. Feeling really I'm just going to quickly examine the rest of your body so you can lift your arms. I'm gonna run. Okay, and this arm. Okay, and I noticed you have a scratch on your forearm. Do you know what happened there? Can I see? Okay, do you mind if I clean it up really quick? Yes, I understand. Mm hmm. It's important to clean out your wounds. You don't want any infections. So I'm just getting a alcohol pad really fast. And I'm gonna rub this on your skin. Okay. And just a little band-aid. And I'll keep this on for a day or so, and I would recommend you clean it out by yourself tomorrow and put a fresh one on. Okay. Okay. There you go. Much better. Okay. Now I'm going to listen to your heart. Just a little bit. And I'm going to have you breathe in. And breathe out with me, okay? So the first one goes on your chest. Breathe in. And out. Okay. And right here. Breathe in. Breathe in, and out, and the other side, breathe in, and out, wonderful, thank you, and when I have my stethoscope out, I'd like to check your blood pressure. So I have this cup, and I'm sure you've seen it before. I'm going to put this on your arm. Thank you. And while I look at the meter, I'll be listening. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good blood pressure. I'm just gonna write that down. My notepad. I'm losing everything here today. Wonderful. Okay. So do you have any questions for me? Mm-hmm. Right. definitely check that out. Can I see your hand? Okay. Let me take my gloves off. Perfect. Okay. Can you see your hand now? You say your one finger is longer than the others? Okay, well that's normal. I wouldn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Your thumb is the shortest. That's okay too. Yes, my sister has a thumb that is significantly shorter than her other thumb. It's a common problem to have. I wouldn't even classify it as a problem, really. I don't want you to be embarrassed to ask me any medical questions at all. So thank you for coming to me. And thank you for coming to your yearly exam. I look forward to seeing you next week for your cranial nerve. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Have a wonderful day. Hi there. I'm Dr. GB. Thank you so much for coming in. Is this your first cranial nerve exam? No, but first time here? Okay, that's what I thought. So did the receptionist get all of your information? Good. Okay, and did you have any other questions before we begin? This is your standard cranial nerve exam, except this one is a bit longer, it's more detailed, and I really like to take my time and fully examine all of my patients so that there's no returns where I, I might have missed something or you didn't have enough time to ask me questions that you wanted to ask, stuff like that, you know? This exam will be pretty thorough. I want to go through all of your basic nerves. Um, yes, there's no nothing painful, nothing scary, and I will let you know what I'm doing every step of the way. That way you'll feel comfortable and know what's going on. Right. So these tests are just simple to see if there's any uh, nerve damage, either in your nose, your eyes, your ears, and I'll also be checking your facial structure, your muscle movements, mm -hmm. as well as I'd like to give you um, a small head massage near the end, and I just want to measure your calm heart rate, as opposed to, I'm going to get your heart rate in the beginning, and record that, and then I will get it at the end where hopefully I can get you into a relaxed state. Does that sound good? Okay. Well, first, I'm going to clean off your seat. I want to make sure that things are sterilized. 
don't want any false reports or spreading of germs. So the nurse should have cleaned it when uh, the last patient left, but I like to clean it in the middle as well, just in case anyone wandered into the room for any reason, so. to sit down now. Okay. And let me sanitize my hands. Okay. Now I want to start with listening to your heart and after that I'll move on to your olfactory nerve but I do want to get the initial heart rate recorded so that we can record your beginning and your end. Great. Can you breathe in and out with me? Again. 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 And I'm going to go behind you. Again, breathe in. And to your other side. Breathe in. Very good. Um, it's a bit lower than average, and low is good. It means you have a strong heart in most cases. So I'm just going to record your initial heart rate. your olfactory nerve, that's just your smell. And I have a a few bottles. And they have the little tubes at the end and I'm just going to dip the tube in and have you smell it. And I just want you to tell me what it smells like. They should be pretty recognizable smells, but don't worry if you can't get one or two. Okay, here we go. Okay, smell. Do you know what that is? Next one. Can you smell that? And that smells like oranges. Very good. Most people guess lemon just because of the citrus aroma. It is oranges. Good work. Okay. I'm going to move into the bitter smells. Can you smell that? coffee. Nice. And I 
How about that one? It's a little tricky. Okay. Try that again. Vanilla. Good, you got it. Don't worry. Okay, and this is a bonus one. Can you smell this? Do you know what that is? Pumpkin. Perfect. Good job. So I'm going to put these smells away. I'm just going to do a physical examination of your nose, just the exterior. So I'm going to slap on some gloves. And I do have uh, latex gloves. They're disposable. They're powdered and... Yes, single use. Are you allergic to latex? No. I'm going to Snug on me. Okay. Now I'd like to take a look at your nose. So just oops. Look right at me. Good. Mm hmm. I don't notice anything. I'm just gonna get a light and look up just to make sure there's nothing damaged down the inside. Let me find my pen light. side. Okay. It all looks great. Of course. Now I just want to do a taste test. Very linked, your smell and your taste, so I'm sure this will be quick for you. You got them all correct. So I have, or should have, I have taste sticks with me, and I'm going to dip these into different liquids, liquefied versions of taste that you should recognize. Okay, so two. Open your mouth. Do you know what that is? And open your mouth. Okay. Strawberry. Okay. Just 
one more, okay? So now I want to do an eye exam. So I just have a very basic eye chart. Um, I've made a custom one. It has the letters that people most frequently mistake for other letters. So I'm just going to hold it back here and if you could tell me what letter I'm pointing at. Look at a little pointer stick. Okay, ready? And I'd actually like for you to cover one of your eyes while you do this. And then we'll do the other one. Okay, great. Okay, cover that one. Can you cover the other one? All right, I'm gonna point at some different letters. Q. C. W. Little one down here. I'd actually, um, I'd like to test you for color blindness today. I have a few colored pens. I'm just going to lift one up and you let me know what color it is, okay? Alright, here we go. Orange. Pink. Blue. Now, can you tell me the colors in order? Green, blue, and backwards. Good work. Alright, I seem to have dropped my chart. Okay, let's see. I'm going to test your visual fields. And that just means that I'm going to put two fingers mm -hmm, on either side. And I'd like for you to look me right in the middle of the face. You can look at my nose if you wish. And what I'm going to do is wiggle one finger and let me know which finger it was. Okay, here we go. Eyes on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Good. That was a little wiggle. Good job. And I'm going to do almost the same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my fingers apart, and when they leave your peripheral vision, you just tell me when. Okay, here we go. There. Good. 
And I'm going to be wiggling them now, okay? Same thing. Okay. Right there. Great. And in a similar vein, I'm going to hold my hands up and you let me know how many fingers I'm holding up. This is a tough one, but make sure you keep your eyes right here. Wonderful. And I just like to do that. Okay. I'm going to find my pen light again. And I just want a closer peek in your pupils. Okay. Can we get a little bit closer? Now, if you would, could you hold your hand like this? Yeah, right in the middle. Good. Very good. And I'm just going to do a- you can take your hand down. I'm going to do a follow the light. Pretty simple. Keep your head in one spot. Just follow where the light goes with your eyeballs. Good, yes. Can you follow it close again? And once more. Okay. And I want to do that again, but I'm just going to do it with my finger instead of the light. Because you can follow my finger this time. I like you to cover one eye. Okay. And the other eye. Wonderful. Okay. Now I just need you to to do some blinking. So, can you blink rapidly? Good. Now, how about a slow blink? Blink. Blink. Now, can you shut your eyes tightly? Good. And can you wink? Can you shut one each eye? 
It's often harder on one side than the other. Very good. Now what I'm going to do is I just have a Q-tip in my bag. And I'm going to touch the sides of your eyes. And you can keep them closed and tell me when I touch your eyes, okay? Ready? There. Mm hmm Very good. You can open your eyes again. And I'm actually going to be doing this to your entire face. What I want you to do is tell me when you can feel the touch. And I'll be doing it with a dull object first, and then a sharp object second. It's not very sharp. Um, it's just a little bit more specific feeling than the rounded q-tip. Okay, so close your eyes. And I'll be touching your face with the q-tip first, okay? Perfect. And now I want to do this with the sharp object, so keep your eyes closed. Good. Perfect. Good. Very nice. Okay. Good. Good. Wonderful. And now that you know how they both feel, I'm going to do one or the other, and you let me know which one I used, okay? Okay, close your eyes. Doll. Good doll. Sharp. Sharp. Sharp, dull, sharp, both, both. Now, on when you said both, where was the dull one? Here? And where was the sharp one? Here? Perfect. So I'm just going to ask you to do a couple of silly things for me. What I want you to do is open your mouth as wide as you can. Good. Now I'm going to try to close your jaw and don't let me close it, okay? Very good. You can close your mouth now. And can you clench your jaw? Mm-hmm. Good. How about showing me your teeth? And can you smile? Very nice. And smile again. Okay. And can you frown? How about pout? Stick your lower lip out. Good. And can you puff out your cheeks? Good. Now I want you to look up and I want to see those forehead wrinkles, okay? Ready? Good. Alright. Okay. So, 
I'm getting out my other light. And I would just like you to open your mouth and say, uh, uh, okay. Good. And I'm going to test your gag reflex very gently. Don't worry. Open your mouth. Okay. Okay. All good. Thank you. I know that can be uncomfortable. Okay. Now I want you to shrug your shoulders. Up. Down. Okay, let me feel. Up. Down. Good. And can you cross one arm over here? Cross one arm over here. And squeeze. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Good job. Okay, you can relax. And I'm going to try to turn your head and I would like you to not let me, okay? Okay, try again. Ready? Better. And the other side. Good. Very good. You weren't expecting me to be so strong, I know. Can you stick out your tongue for me? Can you roll your tongue? You don't have to be able to do that. Alright. Now, I'm going to take a peek at your ears. I actually have my nice. It was right here. So we have the pen light. What I'm gonna do is put my attachment on there and this is just gonna go right in the shallow part of your ear canal. Okay? notice um, any difference in hearing on either side of your ear? Yeah, it's okay if one's stronger than the other. I'm going to be doing some uh, a simple sound test that will let us know. And what I'm going to do is put my fingers right by your ears. And I'm going to be moving them both, but I'm only going to be making sounds with one of them. So close your eyes. And let me know which ear you hear it from. Very good. Now I'm going to be saying some numbers into each of your ears, and you just have to repeat them back to me, okay? Okay, here we go. One nine seven eight. Two nine. 
ten one zero. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing but with words. Just tell me what word you hear. Very simple. Playground. Good. Towel. Schedule. Schedule. Good. Piano. Varsity. You know, that was quiet. Good job. All right. Great. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to take some measurements. I know it sounds odd, but You've been performing really well on the tests, and I'm gathering data on physical characteristics correlated with... Right, exactly. So I'm just going to measure some parts of your face. Close your eyes. Okay, you can open them. I'm gonna do your nose. Now I'd like you to go out to the front desk and see the nurse again. Mm -hmm. She's going to collect some DNA samples from you and give you your wellness check and report. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in. It was really nice to see you. I expect to see you in again soon. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. Goodbye. Now, what nurse was that? Is she new? Okay, because I have never seen her around here before. Well, I thought. sound here. Uh, the CT scan. It's pretty backed up today too, isn't it? Just a little more reason. Okay, so we have the ultrasound set up in here. Um, but we should get prepped for surgery. Yeah. I'm gonna just take a look at that.
Hey there. I'm Dr. GB. How are you feeling? You might have been a little dizzy, a little out of it. You're more clear-headed now? Okay, good. All right, well then we can take that mask off of you. How is your pain level? Scale of one to 10, one being no pain at all, 10 being the most excruciating pain you've ever felt. Okay, so we're doing a little bit better. Fantastic. a second. I'm just going to ask you some questions, okay? All right. Is this your first time in this hospital? Yeah. Okay. New patient. All right. Did you grow up in this area? Yeah? Oh, that's awesome. No, no. I wanted to go back. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm just pulling up your blood work and your urinalysis results, okay? Um, those are the tests that we had you do when you came in. And you got your vitals. Okay. How was your nurse? The one with blue hair. Okay, you know what? I have some questions about them. Maybe, you know? Okay. All right. So what I wanted to do was just go over the symptoms that you had reported. Um, we did get some some pain medication in you, um, which you had a little bit of a woozy reaction to, yeah? Okay. Well, I've noted that in the dosage in your chart. So this pain that you came in with, this was abdominal pain. Okay, and how long ago did this pain start? Mm -hmm. When it did start, um, was it a little bit more localized? Has the pain moved or changed at all in the last day or so? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you had to give it like a, an area of your abdomen, you would say it's the lower right side, yeah? Okay. Right. So that is definitely one of the biggest symptoms that we tell people to look out for with appendicitis. I know you're thinking you might have appendicitis. I think that's a very good guess. Um, We're going to get a couple of more clues from the results of your blood work and your analysis. Uh, so I'm just taking a look at that here. And it looks like with your blood work, your white blood cell count, it's much higher than normal. That would indicate to me uh, infection, inflammation. Again, that's lining up with appendicitis. Now with your urinalysis. I'm not seeing anything that would indicate to me that you have kidney stones or uh, 
a UTI or anything like that. Sometimes those things can very much mimic appendicitis, which is why we check for those. So the fact that those are not showing up, again, makes me think we're headed in the right direction. And the thing with appendicitis, it's so important that you come in right away. So I am glad. I know it looks here. You spent the night, woke up in the morning, and it still was not great. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was the perfect time to come in. We, we really don't want to wait for the appendix to have a chance to rupture or perforate or anything like that. It turns it into a whole different scenario. So what we're going to do... is essentially confirm that this is what you have. Um, with appendicitis, I don't know who's talked to you yet. This is considered an emergency surgery simply because we do want to get your appendix out before it does have a chance to rupture. Um, so that's where the sense of urgency really comes from. So you'll be looking at uh, surgery today, absolutely. So I just wanted to let you know that before I start the examination, just so you can start thinking about it. If you have any questions or concerns, people you need to contact, we'll be able to help you with that, okay? Good. All right. So let's move back to your symptoms here. Your fever... You took that this morning at home, and once again, when you got here, I'm going to want to take that one more time just to make sure that it's not going up, okay? And the pain in your abdomen, it has lessened since you received your pain medication. That's really good. Yeah, essentially, we just want to make sure that uh, during the process of diagnosing you, you aren't sitting here writhing in pain, okay? Uh, very old school way of thinking um, is that I wouldn't be able to diagnose it if we gave you pain management. So, no. Not here. I'm glad you're feeling better. It makes my, my job easier. It makes your life much better. Win-win. Okay? Um, so please let me know if you're feeling major pain or discomfort, if you're having problems focusing on what I'm saying or things like that, just you can absolutely speak up and I'll be checking in. Okay. So the pain in your abdomen, would it get worse or better if you were to stand up and walk around? Mm -hmm. And what about if you were to cough? It gets worse, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. How about the nausea and vomiting? Have you been able to eat anything? Okay. Well, it's actually good, especially if, uh, if uh, surgery is probable. We need to make sure that you didn't eat anything in quite a while, so you, we don't think you've had anything for 12 hours? Even longer? Okay. All right, well, loss of appetite absolutely is a very common symptom. Again, we want to make sure that you don't eat or drink anything until we get this, this figured out. Okay. All right, how about any bloating, constipation, diarrhea, anything with like your GI? And did that start before or after the nausea? Okay. Alright. Has anything um, made your pain more severe? Mm -hmm. And then has anything made it better at all? Feel best when you're lying down. What about if you were to sit up? 
That'd be alright. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I just want to double check here if you have any allergies to medication in particular. Okay, previous surgeries. That should have all been taken down, but I just... Right, alright. appendicitis. Uh, I should be able to find your appendix and determine just some key things that we'll want to know before going into surgery. Confirm that there's no perforations, confirm that it has not ruptured, um, things like that. It is something I can do here in this room. It's going to be a little bit more affordable. The CT scan would take a bit longer to get you in there. So what I'm going to do is use the ultrasound and hopefully that'll give us exactly what we need. But if it doesn't, we do have more options. It's just uh, what I would like to start with. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Ultrasound is painless. Um, it uses a probe-like camera. It's going to go on the outside of your abdomen and I will be pressing down on it on your stomach, so that can be a little bit uncomfortable at times, but uh, you'll be able to take breaks if you need to. Okay. Alright, let me take your temperature and I'm gonna pull, push this aside. briefly. I'm just going to have you look at my nose, okay? Keep looking at my nose. Just want to make sure you're back to reliable responsiveness. Okay. And I'm going to hold my finger right over this light. Can you follow this for me with your eyes? Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Move a little bit closer. Farther away. Here. And here. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. under your tongue and we'll just hold there for a moment perfect okay you do still have a slight fever um, but it's not going up going 
to go ahead and proceed with the abdominal examination. Um, are you too cold or anything like that? I'm going to pull the covers just down to expose the bottom right side of your abdomen like that. Is that okay? And I'm going to place my hands on top of your stomach. It's going to feel like this. Good? All right. So right now I'm just going to move my hands from side to side, starting near the top of your abdomen. And I want you to let me know where there's more pain. Right there? Right there. Okay. And then if I keep moving to the left side, not so much. Okay. So I'm going to do some percussions, which just means I'm going to put my fingers there and give a little tap. It's going to help me feel underneath. Is that good? Okay. If anything is particularly sore, Because I don't think that uh, your appendix has ruptured yet, which we are going to confirm, um, what I can see happening is a laparoscopic surgery. So the laparoscopic surgery is a little bit more new than maybe you've heard about people having appendicitis in the past, maybe read Madeline as a child, I did, uh, but this is a way of doing surgery in which you'll have much smaller incisions. People's recovery time is much shorter, so we can do those. I definitely prefer to. You would be making um, one incision near your belly button, and that is actually where a very, very tiny camera goes through and allows us to see. And then two other very tiny incisions would be made, and those are what our tools would have access to be able to remove your appendix and <laughs> stop all this nonsense. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So some people, like, um, you don't have any sort of dense scar tissue in the area. Fantastic. And um, so that will be our first line of defense essentially, but there are other options as well. Go ahead and put these blankets back on you here. Is your pain level still the same? Do you have any questions so far? Okay. Alright, you like it? Let me take a listen to your abdomen with stethoscope as well. Hold here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. I would like to see the images from the ultrasound. That's going to that's going to determine the most, I think. And the recovery would be fairly fast. It would I typically would tell my patients um, if they go for laparoscopic appendicitis. Um, 
about three weeks of not doing any heavy lifting, but you'll be able to go home very soon. ultrasound set up here we'll be able to take a look so the appendix is actually a sort of finger shaped size organ you don't need it you can function without it mm -hmm. and I just want to get you turned so you're going to come a little bit this way I'm gonna push your bed up slightly ready And then we're going to turn you this way. Very good. So this is the ultrasound machine. I went ahead and turned it on. So that humming that you hear, it's just coming from the machine. Have you ever had an ultrasound before? Yeah, so they're very common. Um, you probably have heard about them. Usually you associate them with pregnancy and things like that. But you can actually use it to see a lot more than, than just that. So, um, what I'm going to do is set up this probe. And I'll be putting this probe on your skin, uh, kind of pressing down on your abdomen. It might take me a little bit to find it because the appendix is notoriously hard to find on the ultrasound. Sometimes people prefer um, CT scan, uh, even MRI, but again, this is going to be a little bit faster. If this doesn't work, we can explore alternative routes, but I think we almost definitely have our answer. I'll be looking at the screen right there. This is what's going to go onto your abdomen. This is just a disposable cover. And then we have the ultrasound gel as well. If you've ever had aloe put on after a sunburn, very similar. Again, can be a little bit cold. So this will just help the probe here kind of just glide across your abdomen so that there's no pulling or anything like that. So we're just gonna pull the blankets down. Are you feeling okay? Okay, good. If any of this is uncomfortable, again, let me know. Um, I will be uh, pressing down kind of hard uh, at points uh, to get the correct image. There'll be some twisting and turning just trying to get the image that I that I need to see. Again, sometimes it can be quite hard to locate the appendix. It's a little bit different on everybody. Perfect.
You're doing okay. I do not see um, a perforation. Um, it does seem to be intact, but definitely inflamed. Uh, this is appendicitis, just like we thought. You thought. We all knew. <laughs> so, I just need to get. You're still doing all right. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. All right. With that very much confirmed, we are going to prepare to send you down to surgery. So, if there's anyone that we can contact, we absolutely can. Um, the surgery typically is 30 minutes to an hour. Very routine surgery. I would be happy to talk through any concerns that you might have. I know that coming in, coming into the emergency room when you were feeling just a little not too good yesterday and now all of a sudden you're getting surgery, it can feel very overwhelming, so we do have time to talk through things, right? So we can't really predict if or when it would rupture, um, but that can be a lot more serious, um, so it would absolutely be in your best interest too to do that surgery now. Um, some people do uh, treat their appendicitis with antibiotics. Uh, we have given you some antibiotics pre-surgery uh, to start treating that. Uh, sometimes people can treat it right uh, fully with antibiotics and no surgery. Almost all of them will come back with appendicitis again within a year, though almost always likely get their appendix removed eventually. Um, so since we caught this, uh, I would definitely say that we could do it now. Your recovery time would be, uh, I would say to expect to stay one to two days here. For somebody like you, I looked at your chart and your history, um, I would expect one at most. But after the surgery, you know, I'll see you again. We'll be able to look over and make sure that everything's okay before we send you home. But I know a lot of people don't want to stay here. Um, you know, they want to get out as fast as they can. Hopefully we can make you as comfortable as possible while you're here. The anesthesiologist is actually on their way. you'll be going under general anesthesia. That just means that you will, it will essentially be like you're asleep, 
you won't remember anything, you will not feel any pain at all, and you'll wake up uh, in your recovery room, which is very nice. So what we want to do is I'll call in some help, and we will take your bed. We're going to roll you down to surgery, and there you will be able to talk to the anesthesiologist, you'll be able to meet the surgical team. Well, I'm really glad that you came in when you did. I hope that um, this hasn't been too rough of an experience for you. I know. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go get some help, and we'll just start bringing you down, okay? Have any other questions? No problem. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. You can stay put, and everything will be just fine. You must be my very last patient of the day. I'm Dr. GV. It's nice to meet you. Are you comfortable? Yeah, you look like you're doing okay. My nurse set you up fine in the chair and everything. Good. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that you have no cause for any nervousness or concern. And the only reason I say that is because I saw on your chart that you haven't been here in a while. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I mean, just think of this as a cosmetic procedure. I'm gonna get your smile nice and shiny and sparkly. Okay? No, it's not too bad. We're not very high-tech here. The nurse should have gotten your x-rays already, so that should have been the worst of it, really. I'm just gonna use some really basic tools to clean off any extra, extra gunk on your teeth. Um, I'll be doing some flossing, and then I'm gonna give you a fluoride spray treatment. Does that sound good? Okay. Very good. Alright, you just sit there and relax and worry. I'll be explaining everything that I'm doing, but um, I'm just gonna grab my latex gloves and a mask, okay? Okay. So these are just your standard latex gloves. And that I can safely poke around your mouth. There we go. And let me grab a mask. So these masks right over my nose and mouth um, because I'm gonna get pretty close to you while I am cleaning your teeth so yeah just for sanitary purposes yep you get it okay I'm gonna grab my tools okay tools that I'll be working with are the mirror tool and the um, broad tipped tool. It's not sharp, it's uh, just a flat two-sided tool that will scrape the majority of the extra gunk off your teeth. So I'll be doing your top layer first and then your bottom layer and then with a more uh, pre 
precise tool and then um, we'll move on to flossing okay okay not so bad okay I'm gonna ask you to open up very good And this mirror lets me see behind your teeth so that I don't have to <laughs> really crane my neck or anything to see behind. Yeah, the weather has been absolutely beautiful. to ask you to keep your mouth open while I do the bottom row of your teeth. Okay, can you do that? Perfect. Alrighty. Open up. Very good. Very good. vacations, I guess I'm a wishful thinker. Got some stubborn plaque right there. Okay, good. Got that just fine. Very good. Now I'm just going to grab my precision tool. So this tool is pretty sharp, but that is actually a good thing for you because um, I have more control over where it goes. So I won't be hitting your gums or anything like that. Um, this is just to get sort of in between the teeth to clean it out before we floss. Okay, not too bad. All right, open up. Good. Good, yeah, kind of like a tiny ice pick or something. Yep. Okay, still comfy? Good. Okay. Alright. See, that was the top layer. Not too bad. 
Now let's do the bottom, okay? these tools are going away. We are all done with them. See, not so bad at all. I'm just gonna have you um, rinse out your mouth. So, I have a paper cup for you, and you can actually fill this with water right next to you in the sink. Um, just rinse and spit, and I'll go get the uh, drying bulb. Yeah, it's a very gentle instrument. Yeah, it's nothing fancy or harsh. <laughs> This is just classic floss that you can find in any drugstore, so I know a lot of people, when I bring out the floss, they get that little sheepish grin on their face. It's okay, you don't have to lie to me if you don't floss, but you might as well start, because starting today is better than starting tomorrow. And flossing just has so many health benefits. I have to recommend it. Yeah. Okay, open up. Okay. I'll be gentle. I know it can be rough if you haven't flossed in a while. are a trooper. So the last thing that I want to do with you is just do a really, really simple um, fluoride treatment. So this is a pretty basic spray. It's mint flavored, nothing um, chemical tasting about it. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple sprays on the top and bottom layer of your teeth. Excuse me. And um, we'll let that dry, and then once you're um, done with that, then you are free to go. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> okay. So, open. 
I'm gonna give you one, two, three sprays on the top, and one, two, three sprays on the bottom. And I'll dry you off a little bit. Okie dokie. Now if you could just close your teeth like that. Okay. Good. Just checking your gums. Making sure there's not too much bleeding from the flossing. It doesn't hurt bad, does it? Good, good. And open your mouth. Okie dokie. Alright. You can close your mouth. I am all done. You were a very, very good patient. Um, you should come back to the dentist more often. So, you should be coming back every six months. Just for a general um, cleanup and wellness check don't have any cavities or any problems this time, um, but, you know, if you keep coming back, hopefully we can keep it that way. Yeah. So, thank you so much for coming in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Alright. It was a pleasure. Okay. Bye-bye. Hello. Do you remember me? Yes, I remember you. You were a patient here five years ago. It's been a while, I know. But it says here that you did see uh, a couple of other people. Um, perhaps the very fast dentist down the street. Yeah, sometimes you just need to get in and out. But you're here for a more thorough and less chaotic cleaning today. Fantastic. I'm so happy to do that for you um, because it's been such a long time since you've gotten x-rays. I would love to do some x-rays today. Just take a look inside, uh, make sure that there's nothing that we're missing, things that we wanted to keep an eye on. Okay, that sounds good. All right, fantastic. And can you remind me of your birthday? Thank you. And do you have any current toothaches or sensitivities or pain? Anything bothering you you'd like me to take a look at in particular? Mm -hmm. No problem. Is there anything bothering you about your smile? Mm -hmm. okay. And have you ever had any negative experiences with a dentist? Who was that? Oh no, not... Did you read the reviews before you went? I could have warned you about that one. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Well, I'm glad you're here. You never have to go back there again. Yikes. Any changes in your medical history? New medications, uh, diagnoses, surgery, anything like that? Okay. Okay. Alright. And do you smoke or vape? Well, with smoking, it's a lot easier for me to be able to tell. Um, but with vaping, it's a little bit different. A little bit harder to just tell on the surface level, but people who vape, um, it's come out that they are much more prone to periodontal diseases as well as cavities, so that's why I ask, just to be aware if there's anything I should be on the lookout for. Okay. All right. So, looking at your chart from last time. I definitely am just going to be doing a 
basic checkup and cleaning today, especially since you're two for one. Um, and if there's anything else that we need to schedule, we can do that as well. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Comfortable. Have the light up here. And I'm just going to use for a moment. And I'll move it back out of your eyes. Need uh, sunglasses. We have those as well. So how have you been? Any exciting travel plans or job changes? Hmm. How's that feel? Is that exciting? Not as exciting as dentistry. Mm -mm. No, couldn't be. <laughs> Alright. Let me just get a little bit closer. And, oh, did you get your bib on? Let's see. First thing I'm going to do is just take a look inside your mouth with this mirror. So if you could open wide. Good. Perfect. Just want to examine around the lower part underneath. Perfect. Good. It's been terrible, huh? Mm. That's okay. Sometimes it makes me feel better about not being outside, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look above here. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. Very good. close for me. And open. And can you say, ah, uh, mm, thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. Now comes the cleaning part. going to get off a bit of that plaque. If anything is uncomfortable, let me know right away and uh, we can stop and take a look at it instead. Okay. All right. So open up. your eyes, anything you'd like. It's hard to have small talk. Don't be worry about it. You can just sit back and relax. This actually shouldn't take too long. My teeth look very nice. Very nice. It's nice to get in here. Every six months. And you were going to a different dentist, so that helped. But we get people in here all the time who haven't been in years. We just never want people to feel uh, 
too embarrassed to come in. I'd much rather just have you come in. It's a bit of a sticky spot. Yeah, it's just a little bit of the extra tartar. Everything feel okay? Good, good, good. And the upper portion, of course. Make sure everything is clean. <laughs> Here it is. switch this on. Okay. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this. Open wide. Good. Perfect.
and then we'll have you rinse. Do you floss every day? No problem, just a, a very good habit to get into for sure. Absolutely, but no worries, I'll be very gentle. No, good, good, good. Okay, good. I'm just going to have you rinse out with this cup and you can just spit on the side. So I'll fill it up for you here. Swish that around really, really, really nice in your mouth. Get everything nice and squeaky clean. And the sink's right next to you. Okay. If you need more water, just let me know. All good? Okay, great. Perfect. Yep, you can leave the cup right there. No problem. So, let's take a look now that you're all sparkly shiny, sparkly shiny, open wide, wonderful, very good, wonderful, wonderful, okay, fantastic, fantastic, okay, right there, just want to dry off a little section here, okay, can you just open wide, I'm just going to lightly dry. Can you bite down on this? Okay. Perfect. And I just want to take a look. Take a look in there. I'm just going to be pressing very, very gently. And let me know if you feel any discomfort. You shouldn't, but if you do, of course, let me know. Okay, ready? Perfect. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, so... I want to just examine the rest of your teeth. We don't have to try them off or anything. And just give a little... 
look just around each one. So starting here, one, two, three, four. Good, good. And back here, one, two, three. Okay. Perfect. Did you ever get your wisdom teeth out? No, I haven't said that. Okay, fantastic. You can go ahead and close your mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and feel around your jawline and just down your throat. Just feeling for any abnormalities, bumps or bumps, anything that we wanna take a look at. A little bit up here, just slightly pressing. Is this uncomfortable at all? Anything sore or tender, sensitive? Good. I'm glad to hear. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand really gently on your throat. Can you swallow? Awesome. And then open your mouth for me again. And can you stick your tongue out? All right. And say ah oh, one more time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right. Fantastic. You're doing really really well. I just need to grab the X-rays, and you put on your fluoride. You should be. Good to go. All right. So for the X-rays, I'm going to put this bib on top of the one you're already wearing. This one will cover you there. Okay. And then what I want you to do is open wide. We're going to put this in your mouth. Go ahead and bite down. Okay. Is that nice and stable? Watch my stool back here. And now I'm going to leave the room for a moment. Uh, you'll hear a beep, and then I'll come back in. Okay? Alright. Just... Okay. Alright. Stay put. More like um, you want your tongue to kind of press down to the side of your mouth there. Okay, great. Go ahead and bite. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I'll get this one quickly. All right. Very good. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to take a look at those x-rays and let me, I'll let you rinse out one more time, fill this water up for you. Go ahead and rinse and sink and then once 
you're all set with uh, rinsing. I have the little fluoride treatment we're going to do for you. You can use this little brush here, and we're just going to paint it on your teeth. It's a great, um, you can eat and drink right away. Just no hot liquids for about an hour. Okay. Ready? Perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna coat this all over your teeth. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Just like that. Good. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just take a look at the x-ray images that we got just up on my computer here. And if there's anything that I'm concerned about, absolutely get you scheduled because we don't want anything to, you know, get worse. for a while. We'll just keep an eye on that one spot. Go ahead and give you your goodie bag for coming on in. Got a purple one. Purple toothbrush for you. Good. Good, good. And matching matching mini floss there. for you. And you are all set. Was there any other questions? Any Anything you wanted to talk about before, before you left? Alright, well, if you think of anything at all, of course, don't hesitate to just call the office. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna move this back for you. Next one, good. And this one, too. Get you out of here. Right. Yep, absolutely. It was great to see you. Again, thank you so much for coming in. And uh, feel free to make your six month appointment on the way out. <laughs> All right. If you are not a YouTube Premium member, remember to turn down your volume or turn off your device now to avoid potential post-video ads. Sleep well.